Hello everyone, this is Neuronium. Welcome to my newest playthrough of Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Donkey Kong Country Returns was created and developed by Nintendo, specifically Retro Studios, and published in 2010 for the Nintendo Wii. In 2013, Nintendo decided to bring the game that graced the Wii to the Nintendo 3DS with some improvements to boot. So what's my history with Donkey Kong Country Returns? Well, for one, I honestly wasn't the biggest fan of motion controls back in the day, so I actually never tried Donkey Kong Country Returns. I ended up getting Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D through a sale with Nintendo a long time ago, around 2013 when this game came out. I got it digitally, which was a rarity. I think I got it through the Nintendo, the Club Nintendo before it shut down. I either got that or I got Tropical Freeze. I can't entirely remember. But I've had this game for years and I've never actually played, let alone beaten it, until recently. So for those that don't know, I recently went on a road trip and decided, hey, I want to record something while I'm on the road trip. Kind of counterproductive of a vacation, but whatever. And what I ended up doing was I brought along my 3DS, my laptop, and I started recording Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. So this first file right here is the original file, my first playthrough file of the game. And this is the LP file. Yes, this is one of those rare instances where I played a game not only once, but twice in a row, and ended up enjoying it both times through. So yes, the game is pretty much fully recorded. It will be post-commentary because I didn't have really a good mic setup while I was on vacation, obviously. Most of the game I actually recorded on a car ride. And let me tell you, that was, that was fun. So, how do we handle Donkey Kong Country Returns? Well, for one, we play on new mode because I am terrible at 2 and 2.5D side-scrolling games. You will notice this as we go forward. But, I ended up playing on new mode for a, a number of reasons. The first reason being the added heart really helps out. Because in the original Donkey Kong Country Returns, you only had two hearts. In new mode, you have three hearts for Donkey Kong, and if you have a Diddy Kong barrel with you that you throw and have Diddy Kong out, then you have six hearts. Combine that with some items you can get in the shop, and you have hearts for days, which is good. Now, the other reason why I played on new mode is because there are new items that were added into Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. And that was the green life balloon, which I, in hindsight, I never actually used in the project. I just bought one just to get it. You get the portable Donkey Kong barrels for Diddy. So you can summon Diddy at any time so long as you go into the level with one of them. If there isn't a Diddy barrel already at the beginning of the level. And there is the crash guard which helps with the rocket barrel and mine card sections, although I only use it for rocket barrels. So yeah, that's why I decided to play on new mode. And overall, I will tell you this, I enjoy Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. It's a lot of fun. I had a blast playing it, as evidenced by the fact that I played through it twice. Now, in terms of how we handle the game as well, we aren't getting all puzzle pieces. That's why you can notice that I only have one of the circles completed. I have beaten the main game. I just have to record the bonus world, but that won't take me that long at all. And as you can see, I'm actually on that bonus world, the final one, which would get me 100%. Donkey Kong Country Returns continues the trend of Donkey Kong Country games having more than 100% for completion. There are three modes in particular. There is collecting all the Kong letters, which is what we will be doing and what I did during the project. Collecting all the puzzle pieces, which unlocks more art gallery dioramas and everything like that. 
And finally, there's a mirror mode, which is a very hard version of the game where in the original Donkey Kong Country Returns, you had one heart, no ditty barrels, and everything was just a lot harder. We're obviously not doing that because I want to save my sanity for right now. But anyway, everyone, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Neuronium, and I welcome you all to Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Stay tuned for the first episode of this going up soon. I really can't say much else because, hey, this project's actually fully recorded. Unlike the other projects that I constantly end up neglecting. I am sorry. I'm very bad with my ADHD. See you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see how the Donkey Kong Country train first started rolling, check out the top link for a playthrough of Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo. And if you want more simian shenaniganry, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of Ape Escape Curious Big Mission. <laughs>